Hey guys. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. I've never actually done one of these videos before, but I've seen these so many times and I think they're just such a cool concept. In this video, I'm going to be telling you guys 22 things I learned in 2022. I feel like this year was a big learning year for me because this was a big transition year for me. It's the year that I graduated from high school and I started my college experience so i feel like it's inevitable to literally learn so much in that transition so i'm here to tell you kind of some things that i've learned i feel like naturally a lot of these are school related but i have um some other very random ones in here so with that being said let's go ahead and get into it number one college is what you make it you go into college you have all these expectations and it is literally your job and your job only to make it exactly what you want it to be because nothing is going to be handed to you you literally are in charge of your whole experience college is going to be miserable for you if you sit in your dorm room all day and don't get out and experience the things you want to experience so you can either make it super fun for yourself or super miserable basically number two i wrote nobody is going to do things for you it is your responsibility to take initiative i have learned that a lot more recently because obviously i'm not in my house anymore where um you know maybe a lot of things are done for me where i don't even realize it once you like move out and get out you realize you are your own boss and you are the only person that's going to do things for yourself obviously like your friends will help out and stuff and your family and stuff at times but like in the grand scheme of things like once you're out of the house you need to have that like mindset that like nobody is gonna just do things for you your mom's not gonna pick up after you anymore like you need to clean yourself you need to schedule your own classes you need to go grocery shopping you need to make your own money people aren't just gonna do things for you your whole life so it is your job to start making those good habits now number three coming home is not the same um after you leave for college i knew coming home wasn't gonna be the same after like I left for college and like I came back home, but I didn't know it was gonna be like this Like nobody can prepare you for the amount of not the same. It's gonna be so the first time I came home It was awesome. I was like, oh my gosh Like this is where I did this because I've like brought my roommate and stuff. I was like, this is where I did this like this is this This is where I went to school. This is the road that like blah blah blah, you know It was so awesome because I was like so passionate about my hometown like but the last like few times I've come it's like what do I do with myself <laughs> obviously spend time with family like obviously that is awesome to come home to like the familiarity but your friends are not gonna be the same and not in a bad way it's just like I'm not the same either like I have a whole different life back at college now too everyone's making new friends I don't know you just don't see the same people also another thing is it's like you're too old to go to like a high school thing and you're too young to like go out you know what I mean number four I've learned how important it is to study college was a humbling experience for me because I was someone back in high school who didn't really study like I didn't really know how to study because I could get by by almost doing the bare minimum but I didn't really know how to actually study because I didn't feel like my workload was crazy in high school and I felt lucky for that but going into college that is not lucky and that leads me into number five I've learned how to study and how not to study if you don't study I don't know I don't know how you go by if you want to know how I study let me know and I will give you a whole video I feel like I have it down a lot better now especially after finals week and like studying was all I was doing number six I put look at every year opportunity as a resume builder because at this point in life it's the time to like start building your resume start doing things for your future number seven life actually starts to feel real when you're in college because you realize everything you do now is affecting your life outside of college yes i already kind of explained this one ish earlier but basically everything you do now is going to affect your future you're basically creating habits now that may carry into your life after college so i have been trying to really focus on like working out and eating better building meaningful friendships number eight going to class is crucial this is a very like universal thing like obviously you need to go to class like you hear that all the time but just like a me thing is like i get like anxious not going to class basically i was the type of person that if i did not go to class which like this rarely happened then i would be anxious on like what i missed and stuff and obviously like there's ways to like figure it out but it's gonna help you so much especially grade wise by going to class and also another thing creating good habits number nine i'm actually kind of a math girl to an extent i am majoring in marketing so i do have a lot of math classes next semester is going to be a heavy math 
semester. So I will update you guys on this one after. I went into the semester with Finite and I heard nothing but bad things about Finite, but I kind of enjoyed it. And that's like weird. And then I'm minoring in journalism. So those are like the English classes. And the one that I had was horrible. I think it was also like what the class was and my professor, I didn't love it. Also, this is like the best coffee I've ever had. Like I took a first step and I was like, that is delicious. Number 10, how fun it is to romanticize life slash be the main character. Me and my friend Isabel, a girl that I met in college, the more we talk, the more we realize like how much we love like social media. We have so many of the same interests, like fashion, all that type of stuff. I created this Instagram account and I posted on it twice, um, but I need to get back on it. But there was one day we were both making these like reels, like TikToks. I made this reel, it's on my Instagram. It's my life and images, but the eyes, number one because the freaking name was taken. Anyway, we were making these reels and we were literally romanticizing everything. That is a core memory that I have. Literally, we were romanticizing the bagels in our dining hall because we like sat in a seat where like the sun was shining and like took a video of our bagels in the sunlight. Like it was so funny, but it was an awesome day and it made me like really appreciate everything. I don't know, it was so fun. Number 11. This one's kind of harsh, but it's true. Nobody cares who you were in high school once you come to college. It is your job to like put yourself out there basically. So once you get to college, nobody has any idea who you are. Nobody knows your background at all. You can literally start fresh, which is a great thing. But for the people who like had a great high school experience, it is going to be such a big adjustment. Number 12, I am a two cups of coffee coffee a day type of girl. Am I proud of that? No. But I've realized that one coffee sometimes is not enough. I'm not like gonna drink this and then drink another coffee later, but like if I'm just like making a dorm coffee, then I might have to have another. Number 13, once you are done with your sport, you are always going to still think you do it and will use every opportunity to show people what you know. Okay, so I did dance in like sixth and seventh grade and then I was like, okay, I'm probably never gonna do it again. And then I did it in high school for junior and senior year. I still think I'm a dancer because um, the like All I Want for Christmas by Mariah Carey would come on. It's like Christmas time, that song would come on all the time and I didn't dance to that song. So how many times are you gonna see me whip out that dance? Every time, um, because I'm always going to show people what I know. And also the dancers at Arkansas, like, oh my gosh, I'll be like, that could be me. Obviously it couldn't, I wouldn't even make the team but I know how to do that. I'm always like telling the person next to me, like I can do that. Basically, I'm like my mom where she thinks she could still do like cheer. She's like mentally I can do that, but physically no. And I'm like, same. Um, number 14 is I miss traveling, I miss Cancun, and I want to travel more. Where Cancun comes in was that was our senior trip, and I miss that because that was so much fun. Literally traveling with all your friends is the time of your life. Also, I just like miss traveling like i want to get out i want to explore i want to vlog i want to go to hawaii i want to do so many things but i need to make some money first also look at this guys i got a new piercing it's like a weird gross silver right now i'm not a silver girl but i did get my conch pierced number 15 is i'm absolutely terrible at soccer senior year of high school we set this thing up called the C team. It was not JV, it was not varsity, it was the C team. Basically all my friends put together a team and none of us really knew what we were doing, but we had one practice and then we would play like the freshman or JV teams from other schools. And I learned that I am absolutely horrible at soccer, but it was also the most fun experience like ever because obviously no one was very good, but it was just a fun experience. Number 16, I learned that Luke Holmes sounds the exact same in person as he does in his music. I went to a Luke Holmes concert kind of towards the beginning of the year and he was literally awesome number 17 is take all the dual credit you can in high school i learned this not the hard way the great way because i did so much dual credit my mom was awesome and told me to take all the dual credit i can and i was like Ugh, why but she made me and i'm so glad she did because not only do i have the opportunity to graduate early if i wanted to which i'm not going to i could take less credit hours than most people because i already came in with so many and so my workload isn't as crazy in college i could add a minor or i could double major which i'm actually thinking about even if you don't want to do any of that i just think it's a great idea to just do as much dual credit as you can in high school because it's going to set you up in such a good way um as long as all your dual credit will transfer to your college i say why not also it's cheaper number 18 sorority rush feels like a fever dream but not in a bad way i just don't feel like i did that but i did literally like 
my phone case is my shorty like especially coming back home it's like i really rush like i'm in a shorty it's weird like wearing your letters back at home it just like does not feel like that happened number 19 i learned how to make the best dorm coffee ever um if you guys want a recipe sometime let me know i have figured out how to make a great at home coffee and it literally it's sometimes better besides this coffee because i don't know what they did at this coffee but it's so good i figured out the right tools the right ingredients the right everything that leads me to number 20 is that oat milk is superior i hate regular milk i don't like the thought of it i don't know why i feel like that's probably just me being dramatic i never i'm just like i just want a glass of milk i don't know like i'll eat ice cream i'll eat yogurt and that doesn't even bother me it's just like i don't drink regular milk in my coffee i think i think that's just it i used to be an almond milk girl and that has transferred into oat milk because i love oat milk um number 21 is i think i've learned about every word every morgan wallen song every single one to every song also i did get tickets for the summer <laughs> i literally cannot wait they're like the best tickets ever and number 22 this one's kind of sappy but i am just super appreciative of how i was raised also just leads back into like college i'm just so appreciative that like i have the morals i have and like the habits i have like going into college i just think that was so helpful just like having the parents that i did and like the family that i did i'm just super blessed to like have that and have their support and everything i do and it's definitely like taught me the type of parent I want to be for my kids when I grow up because I just think they've set me up for success. I don't think I ever told my parents that honestly, but I do really appreciate them. And if they're watching this, then thank you. But yeah, so that's all I have. Maybe next year we'll have 23 things, 23 new things. But this year was awesome. I definitely learned so much and I hope that like my knowledge can go to you guys too. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.